G'day folks, fellow collectors on YouTube, this is your good friend Matt the Real Master in my favourite place in the whole wide world, the video shed. Right, let's get stuck into it man, we've got a lot to show you. Some new up, this is a new update with my latest purchases from eBay. Let's go through it. Jaws 3, original Australian. One sheet poster from 1983, 82, and uh, okay it's folded but I really love it you know I didn't pay a lot of money for it probably about 20 bucks and considering the age I think that's pretty bloody good value and a, a item that's in pretty good condition really for its age so I picked that one up and I'm intending to try and get myself a Jaws 2 as well to stick it right there the Star Wars posters are going to go up on, the, up on the ceiling the other poster I got was the original, an original 1977 Australian, uh, sorry, American poster of Roller Coaster. I really love this film. This is the better of all the different posters they did back in the day. There's a day build as well, which I really don't like. Um, this one is my favourite. Uh, and because the way the roller coaster was, being having a loop in it, and a, basically you're looking upside down, I thought, why not put it up on the wall, up on the ceiling? That way it's looking up, looking down. So, I got the laser disc as well. This was still factory sealed. Up until yesterday when I cut it down here so I could get the disc out. So it's still got the wrap on it. I like to, um, for whatever reason I just like to, if I, got a, if I get a steel sealed disc, I can't leave it unsealed. I have to watch it. That's why I bought it for. Um, but I won't take the shrink wrapping off. I'll just cut it down, this, down, down there. So I've got that one. Which is, I'm ha happy to say, there's so much better quality than my VHS. That print is woeful on CIC Home Video. Now, the other laser discs that I've been, I ordered recently, and um, someone very special who um, also loves this film has this on laser disc. This is from Laserdisc Vault. This is Kevin Grosky in New York. Um, thank you for your order, Matthew. Nice personal touch. Return of the Living Dead Part Two. Now I paid forty-three bucks, and shipping was twenty-six bucks. And okay, that's a lot of money. It's seventy dollars, right? But this is still sealed from nineteen eighty-eight. How many? How many still sealed copies of this are running around? I mean, there may be some. Maybe I don't know how many. But sometimes I don't care about paying a good amount of money. I actually looked this up on IMDb. Uh, sorry, uh, Laserdisc Database, LDDB, to sustain what this was worth when it was brand new, and it was around about 40 bucks. So to me, even after all these years, paying 40, basically paying $3 more than what it was, um, it was sold at when it was new, I don't really mind. If it wasn't sealed, I'd go, mm, it's a little bit high, but it's still sealed. And um, I'm going to open it up in a minute um, and show you the cover. There's the back. I mean, good old Laura Ma home video, eh? Rated R, 89 minutes. So yeah, stoked to have that. I also have got, in the last couple of days, the American Vidmark entertainment release of Devilfish, which is the American equivalent release of our Australian Medusa Devouring Waves. This one's only a dub. And a photocopy thing because I couldn't be bothered scanning it and printing it in colour back in the time when I had that. Um, but this one, there was only one, this was the only copy on eBay worldwide. And I thought, 35 bucks, including pro shipping, done. Don't get too many chances to grab it. And this one's got no stickers on the slick at all, which is a bloody bonus. And, if I can get the bastard open... The tape label is in really good shape and um, only has a couple of stickers on it, which is nice and it plays really well. I may, strangely enough, the scenes in this film, in this version, the scenes are in uh, in different order to the Australian one. Um, and obviously, it's called Devilfish, not Devouring Waves in the, in the uh, opening credits. Um, but yeah, had to have that. Um, Laurie actually. Um, 
Mad Puppet Death on YouTube had this. She's a big horror collector and love her, love her channel. Um, she had one of these and I said, oh, that looks very interesting. I asked her about it a couple of years ago or so. And I said, yep, I've got to have one of these. So 35 bucks, that'll do me. That's no problem. No worries at all. So I grabbed that. Of course, I've got my Halloweens. Had to have them on Blu-ray. And the video nasties set. Um, 13 hours of video nasty mayhem. All about the old um, video nasties, moral panic, censorship and videotape. 13 hours. Plenty of stuff on there about the old pre-cert um, VHS um, video nasties in the UK. So yeah, bought myself a few items, spent a little bit of money, but boy am I happy. And um, there's a few more laser discs on the way. I am going to be probably cutting it short shortly. I won't be spending much more money because it's winter time now in Australia and the detailing season sort of comes to an end and work can really get pretty shallow. Um, pretty thin on the ground to find so I don't want to be spending money when I'm not going to be making a lot but anyway let's open this sucker up if I can and try and get him out with one arm wish I had my tripod <laughs> I really do here we go there we go and there it is get off there it is, Return of the Living Dead Part 2, the American poster art, uh, the laser disc, still factory sealed indeed. Beautiful stuff. This is really one of my most favourite films of the horror genre, horror comedy. I think this movie's bloody hysterical. And I've got the Australian poster of it as well, which had been never used. 15 years it was in storage. Never been used, and I bought it on eBay Australia for, I think it was like 10 bucks. And, uh, okay, this one's nowhere near as nice as what this is. Sorry about the glare there. And the reflection. Nowhere near as nice as what I think that is. That's a much better cover um, poster art. But I'm still happy to have one. And, of course, I've got the Australian releases of both films. Part 2 and Part 1. So yeah, I'm going to play this tonight, and uh, even though this is the US, probably the US theatrical version, which has got music, it's not as good as the Australian one, um, I'm still st st so stoked to have this. Still sealed, and it was after, what, artwork and summary, program content, 87. This has been sealed for 27 years. Not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, that's the latest and greatest here in the video shed. I've got my alligator DVD print running. This is actually what I download, got off of YouTube. Um, don't do this very often, but I just had to have a better quality copy of um, alligator on... Uh, in my collection because I've been getting a bit sick of watching the um, the Australian VHS one which is the quality for it for its time was good but I love this film so much I had to have a better quality one so made my own made my own made my own covers of course you gotta do that you gotta have your own covers but yeah that's about it for the moment I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming your way but before I finish up there's somebody very special that I have to make a shout out to. Just gonna twist the camera around again. Sorry about that. And the shout out for this week is, of course, who else but Christian Hanna. Christian, it's awesome to have you on Facebook as a friend, mate. Love chatting with you. Um, and uh, I just really so thankful to um, have found you on YouTube and contacted you and that you've been happy to accept my request. And then obviously my request on Facebook as well. Your, ch your channel, your videos, your collection of stuff. 
horror gear is absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, I, I have never knew that there was this kind of movie, you know, memorabilia and, and, and stuff available um, for horror collectors at all. I did, had no idea there were animatronic Michael Myers dolls and um, full-size, you know, dolls and, uh, well, we wouldn't call them dolls, but full-sized ones and, um, you know, I Freddy Krueger, the Freddy Krueger one, that's friggin' awesome, man. But no, I love, love the band you're in. Excellent music. Love listening to it. And um, I wish you all the best, mate. Love talking to you. And um, guys, if any, any, any of you uh, in Australia, around the world, have subscribed to me, don't have, don't, uh, haven't subscribed to Christian in, in his channel, mate, you've got to do it. I'll put a link up on the uh, bottom of this video description. And uh, you can click on him, check him out, and... Um, Check out everything he's got. Amazing, amazing collection of gear. And especially Nintendo Entertainment System games. There's a lot of games there, man. I never had the, the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. I went from um, Hanamex, I think, 777 to uh, Intellivision, which is still here, just over there, uh, to a Commodore 64, to a Commodore 128D, to a uh, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, um, IBM... Pentium 3 computer to all sorts of things. So I missed the, the NES and I'm sad I did because there's a lot of good games on it. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching everybody, especially Billy. Looking forward to, tra looking forward to trading with you this week or next week. And uh, all the best to all you collectors and hope you find some more things that you're after. Take care.